This video is about how your portfolio exhibits will be scored. The best way to find out anything about assignments in this course is in the modules in Canvas. Here you see the link to the Portfolio Exhibit 1 assignment. Let's click on it. The link to the Canvas assignment is in Step 1. And if you haven't set up your portfolio yet, a step-by-step -step tutorial is available in Step 2. It will walk you through everything you need to know to set up your online portfolio. Step 3 has a tutorial on how to optimize and upload your exhibit image to your portfolio. And then Step 4 is about revising your portfolio exhibit, which is a separate assignment. Let's click on the Portfolio Exhibit 1 assignment in Canvas. This is where you'll see all the details about each assignment. I try to be very upfront and clear on how I will score each of your assignments. And I do this with a rubric, which you see down at the bottom of this screen. That's what we're going to take some time to go through now. The first criteria in the scoring rubric for your portfolio exhibit is, did you turn it in on time? If you did, it's worth five points. For every day it's late, a point is deducted until if it's over five days late, then there are no points given. The next criteria in the rubric is, your exhibit is clearly titled and is prominently displayed on its own page. Each exhibit should be on its own page and should be titled. This is worth a point. The next scoring criteria in the rubric is that you shared background information describing what you were trying to accomplish in this exhibit. Why did you do this exhibit? Uh, what was its purpose? What were you trying to accomplish? This is also worth a point. The next criteria is that you shared a bullet point listing of Photoshop skills you used to create this exhibit. Describe what it is you did in Photoshop to do this. Not looking for a dissertation here. Looking for just a brief description of the steps you took to create this exhibit. This criteria is worth three points. This next criteria is probably the most important one. It's also worth three points. It's that you shared a bullet point listing of your design considerations for this exhibit. My purpose in this is to have you be thinking and talking in design language. You've learned basic principles such as contrast, repetition, alignment, proximity, font choice, color choice, and even more. I want you to specifically address these in your exhibit. Talk about each one. If you chose to break a rule, explain why. Potential employers are going to look at this kind of thinking specifically. The last criteria worth two points is that you credit and link to items that you've used in your portfolio exhibit. Images, fonts, brushes, patterns, styles, gradients that were not your own creation, be sure to credit where they came from and link to them. If you've created these things yourself, then give yourself credit here. The main thing is that everything is cited that was used in your portfolio exhibit. Each portfolio exhibit is worth a total of 15 points. You may ask, but you're not scoring us on the quality of our exhibit? No, not with this rubric. I feel that would be better handled with our critiques of your exhibit and your revisions. I will be assessing the quality of your portfolio exhibits as I give you feedback images, feedback video, and talk to you about 
how you can improve each of your exhibits using principles of design. Not only will you receive my critique, but a couple of other students will also critique your exhibit. Then it's up to you to take that feedback and creatively revise your exhibit so that it's even better than it was before. When you've done that, then you go back and complete step four of the assignment to revise. Revisions are worth five points for a total of 20 points per exhibit. At the end of the semester, another 40 points will be evaluated on your portfolio overall. And the criteria for that is shown in Lesson 15. I hope this clearly explains how your exhibits will be scored. If you have any questions, please reach out to me in Canvas Inbox.